guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to solve weekly contest 407 problems so let's start with problem number one number of bit changes to make two integers equal okay so in this problem you are given two positive integers n and k you can choose any bit in the binary representation of n that is equal to one and change it to zero okay so we have to select any bit from n which is equal to one that only we can change to zero okay so this is the only thing that we can do we have to return the number of changes needed to make n equal to k if it is impossible then we have to return minus one okay so n is equal to 13 and k is equal to 4 in this example so n is equal to 13 and my k is equal to 4 k is equal to 4 okay so now let's write it in binary form okay so one this bit value is 2 this bit value is 4 this bit value is 8 okay so now i am going to represent 13 like this 1 1 1 0 okay and how i am going to represent this 4 so i am going to represent this 4 like this 1 0 0 here and 0 here okay so here i can only change 1 from n to 0 right so this is the only thing that we can do so if i just convert this 1 to 0 and this 1 to 0 then bo both my n and k will become equal to right same okay so if i just convert this bit to 0 and this bit to 0 okay after making just these two changes my both numbers will be same right so this is what we need right right so this is possible in example number one and how many changes that we are doing here two changes so my output is going to be two here okay so now let's see how we are going to solve this problem okay so first thing that we need to do here so first we are going to do the or operation between them so after doing the operation or operation we will see that i am getting this output okay one zero one one and this output is equal to my n okay so what i am doing i am doing n or k and the result that i am getting is equal to n okay so if this is satisfied if this condition is satisfied then simply means that we can make our n equal to k but if it is not equal to n then in that case i am simply going to return minus one okay so now let's see why i am saying this so let's take this example n is equal to 14 and k is equal to 13 okay so n is equal to 14 so i am going to write it like this 1 1 1 0 and k is equal to 13 okay so i'm going to write it like this 1 1 0 1 okay so now let's do the over operation between them so after doing the over operation i'm going to get the output as this one 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 here so see n over k here it is not equal to n okay so this result is not equal to this value okay so that simply means that i can't convert my n to k and why this is true because we can't change this 0 to 1 okay we can only change 1 to 0 for n okay and this is not possible 0 to n 0 to 1 is not possible okay so this is not possible so that is the only reason that we are going to check for this condition if n over k because n over k okay so 1 and 0 is going to give me 1 only okay 0 1 is going to give me 1 only so this is the first thing that we have to check here okay after checking for this one now we need to find the number of changes that are required okay so how i'm going to check that so see uh, this example 1101 and 0100 0, 0. okay so this is uh, let me write it again so n is equal to 13 and i'm going to represent 13 like this now 1101 okay 1101 and my k what is my k 0100 0, 0. okay so k let me write here k is equal to 4 and i'm going to represent k like this 0 1 0 0 okay so now see here so first what i'm going to do i'm going to create one variable mask is equal to 1 okay and then i'm just going to do the and operation okay i am going to do the and of mask with k and n okay so for 4 when i'm going to do the mask i'm going to do the and with the 1 so what is the result that i'm going to get i'm going to get the result as 0 0 0 0 okay so i'm going to get the result as 0 and when i'm doing the and with this 13 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 okay then i'm going to get the result as 
0 0 0 and 1 here okay so I have to do if my k and mask value which is nothing but 1 okay if k and mask is equal to is equal to 0 and if this is true and n mask and mask okay if this value is equal to 1 then in that case only I have to increment the changes okay so I am going to create one changes variable and I am going to increment that okay so now just complete is going to give me 0 and this complete is going to give me 1 okay so that simply means that we have to perform one change okay so n and m is equal to 1 and k and m is equal to 0 okay so after doing this I have incremented my changes to 1 okay this variable changes count is 0 initially now it is to 1 then after that I am going to just right shift so after doing right shift my k is going to look like this 0 0 1 0 and my n is going to look like this 1 1 and here 0 okay so I have moved this bit out now okay so I'm not going to consider this part now again I have to do the and operation so here if I'm going to do and then what is the result that I'm going to get see here 0 0 1 0 this is for k okay 0 0 0 1 so I'm going to get 0 okay so this condition is satisfied now after that if I'm doing the and with this n so n value is 0 1 1 0 and here 0 0 0 1 okay so here also I'm going to get the result as 0 so this condition is not satisfied okay so I'm not going to do anything then after that I am again going to perform the right shift okay so now my k is going to be look like this and my n is going to be look like this okay now again I have to do the uh, this operation so k I'm going to do the and 0 0 0 1 1 okay just going to perform the simple and operation so what is the result that I'm going to get I'm going to get the result as 1 okay so I need k and mask is equal to 0 but it is not so what I'm going to do I'm going to again do the right shift okay so now this is going to be my new number okay so it is going to look like this 0 0 0 and here 0 0 1 okay so now 0 0 0 and here 0 0 0 1 okay so now again perform this so you will find that if I'm doing the k mask k and mask so I'm going to get the 0 here and if I'm doing the n in and mask so here again I'm going to get the 1 okay so now for this I'm getting 1 right this is nothing but 0 0 0 okay so now this condition is again satisfied okay so now I'm going to just considering this part now mainly so here again more one more changes required okay so that's what we need to do now let's see the code for this one so this is the one base condition that we have to check okay so if n over k is not equal to n then we have to simply return minus 1 then I am creating but two variables okay then I have to do this while my n is greater than 0 k is greater than 0 okay so see here in the end after doing all this again performing the right shift both my numbers will become 0 0 0 okay so we have to stop here so this is why a while loop I'm running n is greater than 0 or k is greater than 0 okay and if n and a mask is equal to 1 and and k and a mask is equal to is equal to 0 okay then in that case only I am doing the changes okay and then I am doing the right shift okay and in the end I am just returning the changes so that's it for the problem number one of lead code weekly contest for zeta 7 now if you want the solution for question number two then please subscribe my youtube channel and press the like button thank you